Good morning and welcome to the last video in the series of short videos or not that short videos I've been making about individual modules of the YouTube data tools. Um, there's a link to the YouTube data tools in the description as well as a link to a playlist with the other videos including one that gives you an overview of the tools as such. So the last module I'm going to be looking at is the video comments module. And I think, yeah, it's relatively straightforward, at least at, at, at one level, it's a way to get comments from individual uh, videos. Um, so what you need as a starting point is a video ID. And based on that video ID, the tool's going to get all of the comments and then it's going to do a little bit of counting. So, um, it's going to, for example, uh, give you um, a list of authors and their comment count. So it gives you some level of analysis there. It gives you also some basic info and statistics about the, about the video. Um, so it's in that sense also a way to get a little bit more information about, uh, about videos, individual videos. Um, but it also creates a network file that maps the interactions between users in the comment section. Um, and that's why I'm also gonna, again, uh, use Gephi to show you um, how to deal with or how to kind of visualize and then maybe say something about, um, about a particular comment section. So um, I'm just gonna uh, use a video and I, I try to find a video that isn't, um, uh, you know, that has some comments, but maybe not too many. So this is something to watch out for, right? So I've seen videos with uh, up to millions of comments and in there, um, it, it may not be possible to retrieve all of the, all of the comments. Um, I've been able to, for some videos, uh, download um, several hundred thousands of comments, um, but there, there are some limitations uh, that are not super clear. So I've seen quite some differences between videos and also changing it over time. So the best thing is, you know, to, um, to yeah, be careful and, and maybe try, try things out and then be conscientious that um, maybe, uh, you know, you don't have the exact representation of what you can see in the interface uh, in, in, in the data. But I think in most cases, it should, it should work really fine. So I've chosen this video here um, by Will Prowse. He does um, reviews of um, a solar tech and batteries and this kind of stuff. If you're wondering, you know, why this looks so empty, is I use a, a, a plugin for Firefox called Enhancer for YouTube, which allows me to basically hide all kinds of things is actually really nice. Um, so here we got the comment section and um, I just want to quickly, you know, kind of make some some points here. Um, what we're going to get with this module is on the one side, the text of the comments. Um, and, you know, we can do then textual analysis and I'm going to definitely make at least one video, probably several um, on how to do textual analysis with these kinds of files, not just this one, but also, you know, some of the others. Um, we could also, for example, you know, try and extract the, the um, uh, URLs, which is always, I think, yeah, quite, quite interesting. Um, but a comment has, has more than just the text. It also has an author. It has a date, right? Um, so we could, for example, look at how a, a comment section has evolved over time. So that can be um, quite interesting. Um, Comments can also be upvoted and downvoted, um, and that has some consequence for their ranking. So you can see that, well, I, I opened this um, uh, uh, file here, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. That's maybe a good idea. Um, so I opened this um, uh, comment section here, uh, and, and it comes in a, in a specific order, right? It comes in an order, and, and, and there's ranking involved but it's clearly not just based on upvotes and downvotes. Um, this one has 18 here, 9, 29, right? This has a lot of comments. So there's certainly, a, again, a proprietary ranking algorithm. Um, and this is something that we will be take, able to take into account. So uh, we can actually use um, or limit ourselves to top comments in the uh, uh, comment video comment module. Um, 
The last point I think that's important here is that indeed there are replies. So, uh, you know, you have two levels of comments um, and you can see, well, these are all replies on this specific comment, but things can get a little bit more complex. And I think there's an example for Dania here. So here we have uh, Exodus C um, and, and that has been replied to, but then this comment here, doesn't reply to the top level comment, but it replies to this one. And this is going to be important for the, uh, the network, the interaction network that this module, the video comment module uh, generates. So there is going to be a network file generated where each node is a user and they're going to be interacting, right? And in this case here, this would be a link from David B to Exodus C. But then there would also be a link from here, from, from uh, Exodus C to David B. Um, the thing is, there's some limits to that. Uh, so it, it does some text, it, you know, the, the module looks at the, at the text. But for example, if there's a, if there's a typo in the, in the username, well, then it doesn't work. Um, but sometimes it's also that uh, users don't bother, uh, uh, you know, clicking on the reply button here, they just add a reply here that's not necessarily then a reply to the top comment but just to the, the last user and this is of course something that the tool cannot detect so some caveats here important to take into account but i think um, in order to get like the overall intensity of replying and these kind of things there's really no no problem so i'm gonna um copy the video id of this um video i'm gonna go back to the uh, video comments module and indeed just talk you real quick through the parameters. Um, yeah, that's where I put the video ID. Um, and here we can uh, mm, limit uh, to, to top, uh, uh, top level comments. Um, uh, sorry, not top level comments, but well, top level comments and rank by relevance. So we can get basically uh, a, a set number of highly ranked comments. Um, the number is not fully exact in the sense that it applies to the top level comments. So to basically uh, this here, um, and then it gets all the replies for that comment. So if we were to put 10 here, it gets 10 highly ranked comments, not necessarily exactly in that order, right? That's always a bit of a question mark. Um, it's, it's going to be very similar, but it's going to get this one. It's going to get this one and so forth. And for each one of them, it's also going to get the replies. So it's going to be more than 10 overall. So take that into account. If you leave it uh, empty, it's going to try and um, download everything. Right. So that could take a long, 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 long time. Right. Um, take that into account. The HTML output basically allows you, it's a bit of a file preview basically. And it, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that on and then we can see what happens. Um, that's a new option. You can pseudonymize usernames. So basically to enhance uh, uh, privacy and I encourage you to yeah, think long and hard about the, the ethics of the, uh, the of the research you're, you're undertaking. but. This is uh, one way to uh, uh, add a bit of um, uh, protection for, for, for users here. Um, it's still gonna be able to count authors and it's also still gonna be able to create networks, um, uh, interaction networks, but you will no longer able to see the um, uh, usernames. It's basically gonna replace those usernames with yeah something that actually looks a bit like this, just longer uh, a hash. File format output, yeah, the same. In this case, I'm not gonna uh, pseudonymize it. Um, just to show you, um, I'm not a robot. Let's look at this. And yeah, you see it, um, yeah, went through basically first the top level comments relatively quickly and then goes into the uh, thread structure in order to retrieve um, the second level, the reply level. And you can see, okay, the script received, uh, retrieved 201 comments from 130 top level comments. Um, interestingly, that's more than here in the interface. 
So all of these counts, yeah, I mean, this is really stuff that it actually got. So there's really gonna be 201 lines in this, um, in this uh, uh, output file, in the comments file. Um, and it's really hard to know like why there are not, you know, as many in, in, in the actual interface. Maybe that, you know, some filters are enabled. Um, it's the, both the video creator can, you know, set limitations on what is being shown. And then of course, YouTube has its, its moderation systems. Um, so yeah, it may be interesting to compare that in the interface, but also that may be difficult. Four files um, are being generated. One is yeah called basic info. This is basically this. It it's just kind of a little bit more info about the about the video in question. Um, I think this is kind of an interesting thing. The allowed in and blocked in. So video creators can you know block the their video um, in certain regions or they can actually make it exclusive to certain regions. I mean, it has the similar effect, but um, yeah, um, geo geofencing basically. Um, basic info, that's gonna be in a CSV file. The comments themselves are gonna be in a CSV file. Uh, and that then basically looks like, like this. Um, so I'm not gonna open this. It doesn't have all that many columns. Um, you can see here there are some there are some IDs, uh, um, you have the author names, you have the date, uh, reply count, like count, um, uh, and then the, the text itself, right? Um, and you can see that these gray ones here, they're replies, and that was indeed this uh, first first reply here. You know, you can see the, the URLs that we saw before, and then all of the, the emoji people here um, uh, replying, replying to that. So that's basically the second file that's being generated. The third one are these authors. Um, and this is basically this here. So you can already see that actually the author here, DIY Solar Power with Will Prowse, his channel name, did a lot of replying. Um, so he was very active in this comment section, but there are also, uh, yeah, uh, quite a bit of uh, other uh, very, very active uh, users. And, and, and if you pseudonymize this here, uh, all of this gets replaced by some some kind of code, but you know it already gives you here like some level of interest. Actually, the usernames are are really not not relevant. It gives you some idea about you know is this is this a very active comment section? Is this something that is uh, like more passers by or maybe you know users that are really engaged in 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 debate? Um, and then the last file is this comment network, and I want to look at this one a little bit more more detail. So I downloaded it. Um, I'm going to put it here on my desktop. And then I'm going to open it with uh, Gephi. And this is going to produce the um, comment network, um, this kind of interaction structure that I've already uh, talked about. So um, this is a directed graph. This is a directed graph because it looks at who replies to who and replying has a direction. So, you know, if, if a user replies to the comment of another user, um, yeah, there's gonna be an error basically, um, an arrow. Um, and uh, uh, that doesn't mean that the other user kind of replies back, uh, all, although that could be. So directed, we can already see, okay, 148 users. So every node here is uh, a user and 53 edges. That means 53 relations between users. Um, it could be, um, you know, more individual commenting actions because, you know, if the same user um, uh, replies on, or if two users interact a number of times, um, there's not a new edge, it's just that the edge gets uh, gets thicker. But let's open this and you can see directed graph uh, and you can see the arrow here, the arrow head. Um, and this user here has re received quite a lot of replies. So I would probably think that this is actually the uh, Will Prowse, right? The, the owner of, um, uh, of, of the channel. Um, you can see there's some connections here. But I would Im imagine that as they, you know, as I specialize this, a lot of this is going to fall apart. 
And this is already, I think, you know, giving you an indication how interactive this, uh, this comment section is. So, you know, just looking at uh, how it clusters is going to give us an indication. But let's start by maybe doing some sizing here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to size them by comment count. And that means how often they have commented. We've seen before that the video owner is also the person who commented the most, right? So uh, unsurprisingly here. Um, and I'm going to color it. Can I do some partitioning? It's not so interesting. I'm going to color it by in degree. That means like how many um, incoming connections uh, does this user have? And yeah, again, it's going to be, we'll browse here in the middle who has also the most um, like incoming replies. Okay, let's spatialize that. And yeah, it's going to fall apart. And it did does. So what we can see here are a little bit these subclusters here. And this is probably what we've seen before that there were there were some, I'm gonna stop that, uh, that there were some um, top level comments that got quite a number of replies, right? And it could be that each one of those clusters um, is, is one of those. But the moment one user is active in several of those clusters, there's gonna be um, more connection. It all sits very much on top of each other. So let's do some prevent overlap. Yeah, we can already see, you know, how, how things are looking here. Um, I'm gonna scale this a bit and then use gravity to bring it back together. Yeah, a bit more. You see everything's flying away, so I'm gonna add gravity back in. All right, and this gives me, I think, a, a pretty good compromise. Well, I'm gonna add a bit more. But still, it's an okay compromise, that's too much. An okay compromise here between you know um, these clusters being being you know uh, spaced apart a little bit, and um, uh, still having this uh, this this general overview. So this is a bit of a scattered conversation situation, I would say. There's indeed this main um, uh, moment, but I think there is actually a lot of um, uh, a lot of focus on the video creator, and then just a little bit of interaction around you know these uh, these users here um so you know in in a in a um maybe a situation where we have intense debate and you know kind of the same users coming back in this may be much more connect connected here we have one major conversation very focused on the creator and then we have a number of these uh sub sub conversations but this could i think be already used to yeah, kind of assess the level of interactivity here. It's not particularly high, um, but I think, yeah, if we look at this um, through, um, uh, you know, for example, a comparative lens, comparing different um, comment sections between each other, I think we would get a an, an, an idea of, yeah, how interactive it is, maybe, you know, then looking at, uh, at the text and, 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 and seeing what is being discussed um, and then kind of understand maybe, you know, how, how controversial it is. We could also do some sentiment analysis and, and stuff like this. I mean, all, all of these methods have their own problems, but um, uh, there are definitely possibilities. Let's just confirm whether this in the middle here is our friend Will Prowse. Yes, it is. Solar power with uh, uh, Will Prowse. I'm going to use the label adjust here to space things out a bit. Um, remember the black T adds the labels um, and this slider here makes them um, smaller and uh, bigger. So that's already it. This was the uh, last um, video on individual modules. I'm gonna make quite a number of more videos, I think in the near future that uh, focus more on specific kinds of analysis, particularly working with text. But take care and have a nice day.